Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today to talk about the new Victor Edge Series 2.0. Um, so mainly this video is going to go over the fuel gas side of the Victor Edge Series. Uh, we have two regulators here. So remember, they make them in L LP, so propane, and then acetylene. We have acetylene ones here, and one of the biggest questions we always get is what fitting should I choose because I don't know what I have on my bottle or I don't know what I need. Um, and maybe you do know what you need, but this is going to clarify some of the stuff. So just remember, when you're going to buy a torch kit, and they make them two different torch kits, right? So you can get either one of these regulators. The main difference on these regulators is the fitting here, you can see. So this is a CGA 300, and this is a CGA 510. So the best thing to do is go out to your garage or barn or shop and check out, do I have a male fitting on the end of my acetylene tank, or do I have a female fitting? If you have a female fitting, you're going to need the CGA 510. If you have a male fitting on your acetylene tank, you're going to need the CGA 300. So this is the biggest confusing thing to people is what... So it's, it's pretty simple to tell. Just check out whatever tank you have and whether you have a male or a female, and then we can help you with the part number on deciding which kit you do need. Um, but yeah, they're... There, it's a, and if you get the wrong one or you just buy one and you, and you thought, oh man, I needed, the, I needed this and not this, and you get this, they make an adapter that goes on this to fit your tank, and vice versa, they make an adapter for that as well. So just know that there's two different options on the fuel gas, so be aware of that when you're ordering these. But other than that, the, the 2.0 series here, they have the smash technology, so it's more like a, a crumple zone on a car, right? So if the bottle were to tip over and hit right here, there's a there's a a zone in there that it'll compress and it, I mean it, it probably won't break the stem but more than likely it probably will but I mean I'm just saying it's a safety feature that's going to help with not breaking that stem because if you break that stem and the bottle is open there's a chance you know the bottle could spin around or pop off then you got fuel gas everywhere in the in the uh, vicinity so they are built in with safety they have new gauge guards on them which are awesome because I see a lot of people I don't know what these guys do to these regulators, but they, they hit all the gauges around there. But these ones got a nice protection, metal protection around the edge, so you, you know, you're not going to mess up your gauge. Um, and there, again, it gives you your flow rate on your line pressure and then how much is left in your tank. And it's color-coded to show you that, hey, you're in, you're in the green, you're in the blue, you're in the orange zone on cutting, and then this gives you the when you're full or when you're empty, that kind of thing. But it's pretty nice, well, easy to see, easy to read. Um, and it's got easy to turn and adjust. Super nice regulators. Um, high quality for the price of them too. Uh, there's a lifetime warranty on these things, so if they do go bad, you can get, you know, you can warranty it through your vendor or call us if you bought through us, and we can help you out. But just remember, when you're deciding which kit you want to buy, just take a look at the output stud on your settling bottle, and that should help us out figuring out what kit you need to buy. If you got any questions or comments, please link them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more.